Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD. This is Laces and as you can see we are going to find a secret that we missed earlier. So if you go if you go back to the beginning of the, the village and you just go behind this to the left and there's this little secret over here with these two caves. Or the cave with two boxes. And we'll be back here in a little bit to visit that lady. So now back to what we were doing last episode. We need to go find Bella so that we can talk to Egan. So let's just journey back up to that big tree. And actually I think if memory serves we go behind this tree and there's another secret down here. Three potions. Very nice. And let's go see what this lady has to say. She wants to battle. Well we're not going to battle her right now. So instead let's just go back up to the tree. And this is Bella. And here's Egan. He says he's been waiting for us. So now basically we have to go to the relic forest to find him. So let's go there now. If you recall, the Relic Forest was just over here, actually. It's down this ramp. Let's actually let's check. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so. If you recall, it was just over here. Actually, we got a series of battles coming up, so let's go ahead and heal up real quick. Okay, now that we're all healed, let's just go take this little ramp down here, and let's go talk to this guy again. Ah, oh, he must be Laces. There we go, now he lets us in there. Alright, so this is the first battle that we have to, non-optional battle that we have to do. Cool Trainer Corpse. Alright, and I know last episode I said that I was going to actually try and catch all the Shadow Pokemon. But, alas, I've changed my mind again. Basically, I'm just going to catch the ones that I will use on my team. So, there it is. Sorry. And, oh, look at that. Teddy Ursa got his final move, which is Metal Claw. But, let's just Shadow Blitz. Critical hit, wow. Game's just loving me right now. And don't worry, we will be evolving our Eevee pretty soon, but I'm just gonna leave him as an Eevee now for experience sake to get to get more. Because it takes once you evolve something it takes longer to level up, in case you didn't know. It requires more experience points. Hopefully we can open the heart to our Teddy Ursa pretty soon. Reverse mode, perfect. Now we can. Alright, well that's cool trainer Gorps. He was a pretty pretty easy pretty easy battle, you know. Get some decent money. And open the heart. Okay, we already know about that. Alright, now let's move on to the second. Oh, excuse me. I apparently didn't want to battle right there, but I do want to battle, so let's fight Super Trainer Joel's. She has a Snubble and a Corfish. Corfish? I think it's Corfish. Eevee and Teddy Ursa, let's see. Level 8. Let's go ahead and bite Snubble, and we'll call. Oh, no, we will call Teddy Ursa. 
Alright, we're almost there. He's got a little bit left in his bar. And the Eevee will bite. Snubbles are pretty pretty good defensively. And Corp Corpfish will use Harden. Alright, tackle didn't really do that much. And let's see, let's bite the snubble again, and we'll shadow blitz Corfish. Hopefully we get some flinch hacks going. Ooh, after that harden, takes it pretty good. Bubble. Bubble is just <laughs> such a weak attack. Look at that, it only has two damage to Eevee. And two damage to Teddy Ursa. Wow. Alright, let's finish off the Snowball and hopefully finish off Corpish. Okay, we finished off the Snowball. Oh, and she has a low tag. Alright. Some diversity at least. There we go. 94. <sighs> Reverse mode again. Come on. At least, uh, I guess it's alright. Because he's for sure almost ready to be purified. So let's just call him again. Now he's, wow, he's really close. Looks like one more battle, I think. Wow. This low tad's got pretty high defense. Flinch. Yeah, well, I love him. Mm -hmm. Alright, should finish off this low tad with another Shadow Blitz. And there we go. Just like that, second trainer is done. Wow, 800 bucks. That's pretty good. Yeah, so it was a great battle. Okay. Alright, so let's move on to our third battle. This lady's actually a pain because she's got two Pokemon that can in can influence. Ugh, excuse me. Can inflict status conditions on your Pokemon. But let's. Hopefully that doesn't happen. So, Eevee and Teddy Ursa, come on out. And let's see, we'll use Bite on. Let's use it on Cacnea, and we'll Shadow Blitz Slugma. Oof, a little less than half. And the Shadow Blitz takes out the Slugma. So, pretty much, if you got a Shadow Pokemon, you're pretty much in the clear. Reverse mode. Alright, well, at least that's good. We'll finally unlock the heart. Well, once we purify it, of course. Yes, I know. Okay, so let's use Bite again, and we'll call Teddy Ursa for the final time. And look at that, his bar's all the way down. So we'll show purifying him in a little bit. Alright, so we bite Cacnea. Poison Sting. Hopefully we don't get Poison Hacks. No Poison Hacks, no Poison Hacks, no Poison Hacks. And we didn't. Alright. So let's just finish him with a tackle. I like I like the animation. And let's try out a lick. Just for the lol for the lols. For the lols. And we have level 13. Not bad, not bad. Alright, three down. Ch cheap old lady only gives you 256 Poke Dollars. Alright. Oh yeah, and you get this thing. It'll tell you. It'll send you like a little email thing that says that your Teddy Ursa is ready to be. Ready to be purified. So, just let's let's use take out Poochiana just to help. Not for Eevee. What am I doing? 
just since Teddy Urs is already to be purified, let's just bring out Poochiena for the sake of purifying. So, last guy. Last but not least, fun old man Crone. He has a horsey and an Abra, so... Shouldn't be too tough at all. Comes Eevee and Poochiena. And as you can see, Poochiena's bar is already down a little bit. If you couldn't, if you didn't, if you didn't know already, when you walk around... Oh, wait, okay. If you have the Pokemon in your party, even if you don't use them in battle, they will still become purified little by little. And wow, that Ice Punch did quite a bit. Even though Abra's not a physical attacker at all, by any means. So, uh, and a Shroomish. Alright. Shouldn't be too bad. Water Gun. Wow, they really are going after Poochiena, aren't they? Alright, well. Hmm. Alright, well, well, let's just use Bite on Shroomish. Or, excuse me, on Horsey. And let's try out Poison Fang on Shroomish. And look at that horse you just taken down. 79 EXP. And let's see Poochiana's Poison Fang. Not bad. Super effective damage. Ugh. Oh, effect Spore. I totally forgot about that. Oh well. Oh well, Poochiana, you're still... Well, we're not going to be using you on our team anyways, so... It's okay. Um, you know what, let's just... Let's show off Ladybug. Just... For the lols. Because we're not going to be using Ladybug either. Let's bite Shroomish, and we will Aerial Ace... On Shroomish. Because Aerial Ace is super effective. And there we go, take it out. XP. Okay. Gives you the cologne case, which those are pretty useful. You can rub scents on your Pokemon and it'll on shadow Pokemon and it'll make their purification bar go down more. If you need some extra help with doing so. So, before we go through that door, let's go heal up. Okay. Let's heal up real quick. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right. Now let's head on back. I missed the walkway. Now let's head on back to that little cave. The purification forest, or excuse me, the relic forest. And let's cross the little bridge. And before we go in there, now if you have a Thunderstone, now would be the time to evolve your Eevee. You'll see reasons why in the next fight that we have to do. Because the next battle we have to fight is Egan, the old man. And he has quite, quite a strong Pikachu. So, if you have an Eevee and you evolve it into Jolteon, you know, it'll use Volt Absorb and it won't really take any of the damage. So, congratulations. And alrighty, so now let's take a look at our new Jolteon real quick. I picked Jolteon because of the high special attack and speed. So, I really enjoy that. And Volt Absorb is, makes this battle somewhat easier. So, alright. Alright, looks like that's all the time we have today. So, in the next episode, we will be going through that door to take on Egan. So, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you later.